I apologize. I am a wee bit late. Yes, I'm one minute late. I do apologize. I couldn't get my I couldn't get my thumbnail right today. So hi Lisa. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Tell me in the chat, guys, what are you drinking tonight? Yeah, I couldn't get my I couldn't get my thumbnail. I took a picture for the thumbnail earlier, but I guess it's because I had it on um not landscape, but I guess portrait. It just it wouldn't upload properly. So I was like, ah. anywho, welcome to tonight's live stream, guys. Tonight we have quite the agenda for you. Lots of things going on tonight, lots of happenings, lots to go through and talk about. Oh my gosh, you should see my my desk here, my table. It is pretty epic. Actually, I'm a little bit crooked right now. So tomorrow is a really big day. We'll talk about tomorrow first before we talk about today. Why? I don't know, but I guess that's what we're going to do we're going to talk about tomorrow first. so tomorrow is actually the very first um sales meeting they're having here in toronto for avon canada in over two years which is insane hey pam yay stamping brochures love the multitasking oh, definitely boss life right there hashtag boss life so uh yeah that's um tomorrow is the first um what was i say a little bit Sales meeting, yes. Tomorrow's the first sales meeting that they're having in Toronto here. They've already had it sprinkled throughout different parts of the country, mm -hmm. but I'm really excited. I'm going to be going tomorrow uh, to tomorrow's um, sales meeting. It's over towards, Br I want to say Brampton. It's like, yeah, I want to say Brampton, but it's like borderline Etobicoke, I think. I don't remember exactly, but it's, anyways, it's towards the airport. Um, so I'm gonna go there tomorrow. So if anybody who's watching is gonna be at the, at the sales meeting tomorrow, please say a hi, because um, most of my team can't make it. Some of my team members are sick and they can't make it. So I'm like, Ooh. but yeah, I would love to hang out, love to chit chat and stuff like that. Um, for those who are watching the replay, make sure you do leave a hashtag replay and uh, let me know where you're rewatching from um, tonight. Well, if you, and if you're new here, I'm Jessica Yake, the Dancing Avon Lady. And like I said, we got quite the agenda today. So. That's tomorrow. So stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can live stream a little bit here on YouTube. Uh, the event starts at 1.30 Toronto time. It goes into 3.30. I won't be live streaming the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I won't be live streaming the whole thing tomorrow, but I will try to live stream right when I get there to kind of give an overview of the field. I will be filming as much as I can, unless I get in trouble, um, filming as much as I can, and then putting together a video for those who cannot attend in person. I know that um, it's it wasn't as accessible for everybody. It's, for some people, it's like six to eight hours away. I know there are some people who drove hours and hours Hours. Um, I think Joanna is going to come from Peterborough tomorrow. I know Janelle's going to be there. She's going, I think she's also coming from, from Peterborough area or maybe Barry. Anyway, people are driving from far to get to this sales meeting. I'm lucky I only live about an hour away, so it's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited, really excited to learn, kind of dip my toes back in the field. I did a little bit about two weeks ago, so I'm excited to do more. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. Now today, how's everyone doing by the way? Everyone's doing well, doing happy, doing great. Um, today was, was a busy day, yeah, but it was a good day. It was a good busy day. But today is Earth Day. Hey, Caitlin, those are long commute times. They are, did you, did they have the one in Vancouver? I don't know how far from Vancouver is from Coca from where you are, Coca Um, But yeah, did you go to the one over in BC? If not, you'll get to see some glimpse of it from my footage sometime, hopefully on, I'm aiming Tuesday. We will see, we will see how well I get all together because Nelson's getting his third booster on Monday, which means that he's out of commission for the rest of the night. So Nathaniel's going through the space right now where he <laughs> he only wants daddy at night. Oh, and that's okay too, but it's, it's hard to get him down without daddy. And, and Ginevra is the complete opposite. She, it's hard to put her down with um, without mommy time. Today is Jess's 40 plus two days day. That is very, very true. Uh, thank you everybody who gave me birthday wishes and greetings. That was so sweet, so kind. It really made my day. I felt like a princess that day. Um, we had a very nice day, my mom and I. So my mom and I, we share our birthday. 
And um, what happened was that she spent the day babysitting my son while Jennifer was in school. Uh, I worked half a day, um, but then I also took a nap. She took a nap. We had a nap birthday. It was really nice. And then Nelson like surprised us with so much food. We had ramen. We haven't had ramen in like two years. It was so good. I'm a huge fan foodie and those desserts yes they were amazing weren't there like pieces of art for those who don't know what i'm talking about check out my instagram the dancing avon lady i have a carousel in there and if you like swipe right a few times on my this is 30 picture carousel thing um you'll see like a bunch of cakes i think about nine eight or nine mini cakes are like this big it's from and it, there's a story behind it guys get this there's a story behind these cakes so this cake these cakes are front by a company called rulo r-u-e-l-o and yeah absolutely they are they were were because they're all in my stomach now uh, not not every single whole piece but like a bite of everyone <laughs> i was craving them today um they the rulo is a it's kind of like a play on words so lo is the owner's last name um so and i think her name is like janet or janice and um rue is the french word for lo lo in chinese means road so it's where two roads meet isn't that beautiful <gasps> where food meets art gorgeous I love it. And the funny thing about this is Nelson knows the CEO, well, the owner of the bakery. She has, I think, two or three locations. They're all like located in different parts of um, Toronto. I think there's one downtown, one midtown, and one in Richmond Hill. And um, he knows the owner. The owner actually used to be his tutor for school. And so that's how he supported, he started supporting her. And, um, the first time I tasted her masterpieces were macarons. And for my 36th birthday, he bought 36 macarons and they were so good. I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance to eat from, from this bakery, the, it's incredible. Like the, my favorite one was the one with the pink with the little daisy-ish type flower on it. And that was strawberry yuzu. Strawberry yuzu. They have like um like most insane flavors there's like an earl gray chocolate there was a lychee apple oh they the 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 mixtures of flavoring pair so well together as well as like how it just the the textures oh, i talk i could talk about food all day as well i could talk about like my kids avon and food all day Love those three things. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah, those cakes were just divine, absolutely divine, and oh, so gorgeous. So anywho, let's get on to tonight's um, main focus. So the first thing is today is Earth Day. So happy Earth Day, everybody! I don't know if you saw my reel on Instagram or my TikTok. I also posted up as a YouTube video on my other channel, Yik's R Us, which is more of my family vlog channel. Definitely a hobby channel because I don't post on there very often. But um, I did. Uh, we did celebrate Earth Day, spending some time outside. The kids looked around for <laughs> for <laughs> for wildlife. It was the cutest thing in the world nathaniel doesn't know how to use binoculars mind you nathaniel is too and he doesn't know how to use binoculars and i got to never these binoculars from the zoo over the last weekend he kept putting them backwards and he was like looking for birds and airplanes in the sky it was so ridiculously cute but yes anyways Ginevra had a happy earth day message so go check out on my other youtube channel yix are us i have a shorts up there for that um and uh, yeah, we just spent some time looking at flowers and things like that. So it was really, really, really nice. Now, in the world of beauty, let's talk about beauty and Earth Day. So, I mean, we do have at Avon Canada, we do have like a clean beauty line, um, such as like the Farmer X line, where the packaging is all sustainable sources, it's recyclable and things like that. But let's also talk about how can we reuse some of our packaging um so if you have any ideas guys drop it in the chat would love to hear your ideas because i mean 
by reusing, reusing, reducing, recycling, we're definitely going to help out the planet. And um, there's actually things that I learned while doing some research I never thought of before. So let's dive deep into some of these. So something that I've talked about before in the past are old mascara wands. So this one, it's actually one of my empties that I'm showing you today. This is the Love of First Lash Mascara. You guys know how much I love this mascara. Although I'm campaign 11, I get to... Um, uh, because I'm part of the Beauty Advantage Club, um, I get to try out the new mascara, so I'm really excited about that. But the mascara wands, guys, you don't have to throw them out. You can wash them, clean them. You can use them as a lash separator, a brow brush. You can use it to help, like, brush back your wispies with spice, bring some hairspray on it. Another thing to do is some wildlife centers, if you give these to them clean, they will use them to help uh, clean their wildlife. I know ah uh, shoot i actually don't remember the name of it right now off the top of my head i'll try to remember to post that up in the comment section later on but they you they use it to help clean the wildlife so definitely take a look at your local wildlife refugee center um toronto wildlife center ottawa wildlife center etc etc et see if they do take mascara ones to help clean the animals um if that is something that's interesting for you so that's one way if you guys have any other my mascara one hacks let me know. I'm sure there's hundreds and hundreds, but that's the one that always sticks out in my mind for that. So, and this is, guys, is one of my empties. Uh, use a face cream container. Yes, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face cream containers. That's brilliant. Love it. So especially ones like this, um, the Farmer X is a really nice size, but they do come in multiple sizes. I have everything out thinking that would be super organized for you guys today. And through my organization, I have become very disorganized. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if that ever happens to you. But yeah, they do come in different sizes. So I mean, you can use like one for your small little elastic bands or for like little stud earrings if you're going away on vacay. Um, I mean, you can even use it to store your vitamins if you're going away for a little bit. Uh, and, but the larger ones would definitely be really great for elastic bands. Um, you can use it to hold like a necklace or something like that in so it doesn't get all tangled up. But for necklaces, honestly, I usually just roll it up in, in some towels when I go on vacation. So I, I lay it out and I roll it, lay out the next one, roll it, lay out the next one, roll it, then I blah, 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 put it into a zippy and I just reuse that zippy over and over again when I used to travel a lot. Not so much right now, but that's okay. I can live with it. It's it's only temporary. This too shall pass, as I keep telling myself. But yeah, no, that's a great idea, Caitlin. Um, also, yeah, I love the idea for beads and paper clips. Oh my gosh, I should use that for my daughter. I need to go through my... I need to use up all my face creams because she's going through this beating phase right now and I love her so much. My daughter loves arts and crafts and my mom loves to indulge her by buying her lots of arts and crafts material. But the beads fall everywhere. They fall everywhere. So something like this would definitely be great and she can even label it. So that's a great idea. Um, what else can we do with these? If you have seeds, if you... Um, in the fall, if you collect seeds, you can always label at the top, use one of those chalk markers and just label like tomato seeds or like pepper seeds and just have like multiple seeds. Oh, you can stack them too. Ha, huh, fancy schmancy. I like that. Uh, another thing that you could do is you can use it for, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I lost my train of thought for that. So, but you can use other empty ones such as these. Right. So this is the Dr. Belmer Ampule. This is another one of my empties. See how this is all working out together, guys? My empties video is now also my Earth Day video. <laughs> and the other thing is use up your products. Use up your products. There's nothing more wasteful than wasting products. It's wasting money. It's wasting resources. It's waste so wasteful. Use up your products or give it to someone who can use it. And then take back the packaging so you can use it for other purposes or tell them, teach them how to do it. But for these, for like teeny tiny little plants, you can use these as little droppers to, to water them. Because for example, like African violets, if you have a slightly bigger one, or sorry, a slightly smaller plant or a slightly larger dropper, you can just fill it and lift up the lid, so just squirt it in there, right, um, for the water. Now, the other thing you could do with this is you can actually use these as vases. Wouldn't that be so pretty? This is what my one, two, three, fourth bottle now. I have a lineup of these. If I could just figure out, if I take out the label here, and even with the Dr. Belmer here, it'd still be really pretty. 
I can use these or even like my Farmer X one here as little vases, right? Just take off the dropper. These would be so pretty. It'll be so cute and quaint. Lift it up there. Sure. Why not? Why not? Another thing you could do is if you like to um, make your own perfumes, you can always use these as your own little perfume bottles. That's something that I read online. Um, that you can use them, like they say, as a as a planter. Um, and a lot of these also, you can use the same thing with your, your candle jars, but we'll talk about the candle jars a little bit later, shall we? I have a list on the side. That's why I'm looking over here, guys. I'm totally not ignoring you. Now, has anybody have any other creative ideas on what you can use your cosmetic things for? Yes, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, okay. Now, another one of my empties, shampoo, conditioner. So someone said that you can use these to hold brushes. I don't really know. We use this. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. School science projects. <gasps> that's a great idea. Thanks, Caitlin. That's really smart. Even now, I mean, she's been talking a lot. <gasps> Yes, because I can show her, like, we can do, like, um, art projects even right now because she's all about, you know, you know, like, the drippy paint art? I can do something like that with her with a little bit more, like, watercolor, possibly on a plate and just show her how to, like, mix mix um, colors that way. That's brilliant. Thank you for that. That's awesome. Thanks. Um, so this is another one of my empties. This is the Botanicals Cherry... And cherry blossom, sorry, and hyaluronic acid anyways, uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is my favorite scented one, guys, by the way, out of all of them. I love this one. It smells so good. Although I'm loving my hair texture right now using the sea salt and rosemary one. Don't love the smell quite as much. Nelson likes the scent of it. I think it's because it's less, less flowery like this one. But um, I just noticed my hair texture is like, whew really nice even if I'm not if I don't style it anywho so some suggestion is probably with the larger ones you can use it to hold like brushes and pencils and things like that what I do with this <laughs> we clean it out and we just let the kids use this as squirt bottles for <laughs> in the bathtub Nathaniel loves it and it teaches him about you know like react uh, action and reaction you squeeze the bottle water squirts out you can also use this um I don't know for like art maybe I don't know. i'm sure there's a million things you can do with, with these the larger ketchup bottles i know what we've done with them or like pop bottles we used to cut those and make little greenhouses my mom had like dozens of those in our backyard we used to live in the countryside lots of garden space so that's what she used to do so there's definitely ideas um other things you can probably do is you can probably store um, like, uh, l little knickknacks in here, like beads and stuff like that if you wanted to, or, or, um, like sparkles, sparkles for, for, like, glittery things, but that might be a little bit overkill for the sizing anyways. Meh. One that I read that I thought was really genius is taking old lip balm containers. So this one is practically done. I have, like, the insiest, beansiest little bit left in here that I could technically, technically, technically scrape all out. And um, I probably will do that, too, because I really love this lip balm. It's, like, one of my favorite ones. But anyways, so this is the Dr. Bellmer, um Sick and Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is, I have another one going. I think I put it in my purse because I went out today. But something that I, I saw online, they said to store your bobby pins in these. So you have like 10 bobby pins because like these, honestly guys, I never put them back and then I lose them. They fall into the depths of my purse and disappear forever. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, I don't need to buy toys at all, at all. I just do this bubble bath time. Oh my gosh, my kids go nuts with these during bubble bath time. Cause like, mommy, look at I'm making bubbles. I'm like, yes, you are. That's awesome. So it's like these are just so much fun. We have so many just empty squirt sized bottles everywhere. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's just so much. Fun. Don't need to buy toys. But yes, this one I thought was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um. Make your own lip balms. Yeah, I could definitely do that. I, I did it one time as a school science project. I think in grade 
nine. I tried to make like all natural makeup. It didn't work out so well, but mind you, I also wasn't very good at following instructions at that time. Might have more fun doing it now. But yeah, these ones I think is really, really smart. Putting the bobby pins into this. Somebody also said that you can put your vitamins in it. I don't know about that. That to me sounds a little bit weird, but I guess you can always put in, I would put in like a Tylenol or two if I wanted to, but I don't know. Just, I don't know if I could get this clean enough to be comfortable putting my vitamins in. Yeah. But the bobby pin, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Or like even um, like, oops, like bobby pins and a mini, oop, mini tweezers. Oh, that's a great idea too. Yeah, a couple $20 bills. Great idea. Oh, sorry, dropped something. Um, I was reading <laughs> some like beach hack ideas. <laughs> I thought it was really smart. So we use the, the, the uh, what they call it, the, the fitted bed sheets all the time for the beach. I love that hack. It's just it's perfect to keep sand out for where I want the kids to sit down and eat. But um, they said, use dirty diapers and hide your keys and money in there. Not dirty diapers, sorry. <laughs> Clean diapers, but <laughs> disguised as a dirty diaper. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine sticking your keys into a dirty diaper? Mm, no one's going to touch it then. Sometimes my mouth works faster than my brain. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, no, I love the idea too, Caitlin. Caitlin, you're so full of awesome ideas. You should make a list and post that on Instagram, on your page. It, it, it and like hashtag Earth Day. Like just, just do like a uh, da, 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 like a list thingy. <laughs> Unless you have one of those, like Nelson's Tesla, you don't even need to like use the key. It just needs to be in his pocket, so you just have to carry your dirty diaper around everywhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. But they said that um, use the diaper, use like the diaper hack to hide your valuables or um, like old sun, ooh, old sunscreen containers could also, or like the shampoo containers. But I think on the beach it would make sense to have a sunscreen container to store like your valuable stuff um, as a little bit of a deterrent. Now, another thing that I read that I thought was really cool for Earth Day Compacts. Now, this one is my Cashmere Complexion FMG uh, Compact Powder Foundation. I talk about this one also a lot more, more on Instagram and on my beauty page because of the products I use. I'm actually getting to the pan. This never happens for me for a powder. This is an amazing powder. Pads, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is also a really great idea. Using using pads as as a disguise, I like it. And if you have a lot of stuff, grab a pair of pads. Works, right? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, guys, we're so funny. This I'm loving the chat tonight. So another idea that I saw was um, hey, you guys can see my setup. Ooh, look at that. Hello. So using empty ones of these to hold anything with a mirror hold your uh, hair ties. So because like I don't even use the pad to be honest with you, I can hold a couple of hair ties in there, throw this into my bag and done. Even like a couple of bobby pins, um, it, it, it'll just work. It'll work so well. Now, once the entire pan is done, what you could do also is get a couple of those oil blotting sheets, fold them, stick them here, stick your headband, your, sorry, your hair bands here or a couple bobby pins or whatever are your essentials and then you just have everything you really need you have a mirror blah blah throw this into your bag done bada boom bada bing yeah so that idea i really 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 like other people said that you can store some jewelry in here um maybe a pair of earrings might work i don't know about like any big jewelry but i think that's a really cool idea as well especially if to not get it tangled up you used to use that part of the storage from back in the night you are not old. You're not old at all. At all. Yeah. But that's a great idea. I like I never would have thought of it if I just didn't kind of, you know, do some research and talk to you guys. Store earrings, rings. You know, it's really good to store your rings in there. Really? Because no one's going to like try to take an old compact. And I wouldn't have never thought to like throw my ring in here. 
Yeah, that's amazing. That's brilliant. It's because you're so smart. You had your time with Lisa. That's what it is. Um, another thing that people were saying is that you can use your old uh, perfume bottles and turn those into vases. I think that would look really pretty. Oh my gosh. Have you guys seen the new Bali? A faraway Bali, bo Bali bottle? It is so gorgeous. <laughs> I remind. Uh, that's great. Reminiscing about the good times. I saw Barry today, by the way. So I gave your order to Lisa. Um, yeah, but turning uh, perfume bottles into vases, make sure you just do clean it out really, really well so you don't have like the alcohol in there. You know, might kill your plants a little bit. Hello, everyone who's just joining us right now. Welcome to tonight's live stream. We have quite the conversation going on right now. It is fun, fun, fun. We're talking about Earth Day, reusing products and containers and things like that. So it's been really great. Ah, no problem. I can't wait for you to try the lip oil, Lisa. Oh my gosh, you're gonna tell me all about it. It is so nice. I just took a picture with me wearing um the lip oil on half on just on my bottom lips to compare. It's oh, so different. Melissa, hi! Welcome to tonight's live stream. Your baby is so cute, by the way. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, you did try it. Oh my gosh. Ah, you're gonna have to take a photo of it. Okay, thanks so much for coming on, Caitlin. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Make sure you watch the rest of this in the live for the live stream because we've got tons of stuff going on. But thanks for joining in, love. Anybody in the cool curriculum area who's looking for Avon, check out Caitlin. All right. So um, yeah, so turn the perfume bottles into vases. Uh, that's another trick. Um, now another item that we can use over and over again is these candle containers especially the glass ones are gorgeous now the aloe ones are smaller they're one wick but they have a lid which is really really nice um i know right the the lip oil is just absolutely beautiful it doesn't feel so good when you first put it on i i don't know every time i put it on I just get this like slight warming sensation it doesn't burn at all but it feels phenomenal I love this stuff. It is so beautiful. Okay, so now we're talking about reusing candle containers. Now, if you have an idea, guys, put it in the chat because I love to hear about all of your ideas. So this one here is the Layers Redefined one. It's one of our, our um, three wick candles. They are a soy blend base. Oh, it smells so yummy. This is a maple latte. A lot of the time, guys, I don't even burn my candles. I leave it around just to have a little gentle scent, but they are so nice. I'm using the frosted balsam one downstairs still right now, and they last so ridiculously long. So anyways, what do you do with your old reusable, uh, your old um, containers uh, from your candles? I've seen everything from making like fire starters for if you're going camping um so uh, lisa's saying for pens and pencils yes very great idea makeup brushes you can line a bunch up and hold your trinkets in it like one for let's say lip balms one for lipsticks one for hand creams one for i don't know everything else that i have <laughs> right so these are really 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 beautiful other things you could do is after you clean it out you can also uh use it as a planter right you can fill it up with some for some potting soil and make a beautiful little plant out for, or even for succulents <gasps> it can match that one up there can you see it i have my succulent diffuser up there uh you can also some people are saying use it as a hot chocolate gift i don't know again i'm a little bit weird about using not food Things that are for food to repurpose it for food. But that's just me. I'm I'm weird about that right now. I don't know if I'm going to be weird about it in 10 years. But right now, I'm a little bit weird about that. Um, but I mean, this just has a lot of great organizational hack ideas. You can even make your own candles. I read from uh, the Clean My Space website. They uh, can use, you can use this and make your own air freshener. So you fill it about maybe two thirds or a, a half way with baking soda and then drop some of your favorite essential oils in there. It should last about a week or so and then you can just stir it up and then add more to refresh in the scent. So I loved, loved, loved that idea. I mean, it's just it because like you want, you can use like 
essential oils for so many different things. Now, talking about essential oils, as, as Janice did mention uh, a few weeks back when we were talking about essential oils, make sure they are pet safe because some essential oils are not good for pets. Um, so you do want to do your research before you go and like... For a single flower, yes. Oh, that would be so pretty, yes. This is a fake flower, but like that. Right? Right? Now, if I could ever actually get a flower to bloom like this in my actual house, it would be a miracle. I do not have a green thumb at all. My mom, amazing gardener, did not pass those jeans down to me at all. But yeah, wouldn't that be so pretty? Imagine if this was a succulent. Yes, please. That'd be so pretty. It is in the color of this layers redefined glass, just so beautiful. Like, it is just so pretty, 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 pretty. I have another one. I have the peony one. I think that one's milk glass. So I think they do come in different colors. This was more of a fall color. I think I'll be right back. Right back. Don't leave. Stay. Stay. Yes, I do have one here. Awesome. Okay, because I do have a layers redefined. I'm telling you guys, I don't burn my candles. I burn some of them. Um, one of my favorite one, all time favorite candles was the ginger, something ginger. Lemon ginger? Oh my gosh, I'm opening this one. This smells already. Oh yes, this is the white one. This is the Juicy Current and Magnolia. Oh, yama, 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 yama. This one is just so beautiful. But yeah, so like the the for, for particularly for the layers redefined they do come in different colored containers i think depending on the season i might have to swap it out for this one now this one's very springy this is one of my absolute favorite ones it's like citrusy with a little bit floral oh so lovely anyways so we're not talking really about candles we're talking about reusing candle containers um yeah so fire starters planters uh, toiletries, put it into your bathroom, hold your toiletries in there, put in your cotton swabs for when you do your nails. Oh, which one did I, I deliver? Oh, great for guava, that, that one, right? Right, Lisa? I think that's the one I delivered today. Yeah, I don't really remember. Um, you can use this for a your hair elastic. You can use this for your toothbrush and toothpaste holder. Maybe if it's slightly taller, I don't know if this one would hold my toothbrush very well. But this one, I mean, that's another idea. Um, air freshener, uh, they say DIY bath bombs, I don't know. But you can even open this up and use it to hold your bath salts, right? To It can look kind of pretty. Grapefruit guava, always smells yummy. I have one. I am, that was another one of my empties. Here's another one of my empties, the grapefruit guava. This is such a lovely scent, so. Love grateful guava. Um, some people are saying use it to hold your pet treats. Again, I don't. I'm a little bit weird about that. I get about like holding things that are to be consumed in something that wasn't meant for consumption. I don't know. That's just that's just me. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be weird about it in like ten years or five years. But right now, I'm a little bit weird about it. Some people even said like the smaller ones use it as um, um, like for shot glasses. I don't know. Or you can reuse it. The container may add in more wax to create another candle, add in some essential oils. I don't know anything about what making candles, guys, so do your research. Um, or you can even, you know, do you remember those bath beads? Who remembers bath beads? Oh my gosh, bath beads. I just had a moment. I used to obsess over bath beads when I used to want to be old fancy. I would put in bath beads and <laughs> Epsom salt and have a, you know, glass of juice because I wasn't old enough to drink. <laughs> Music going, so nice. Get a long rod of them. Yes, right, right? Oh my God, bath beads were amazeballs. I used to love them. I used to have like holders just to hold my bath beads. <laughs> wonder why they don't have them anymore. Do, or do they have them and I just haven't noticed? Eh, I know, because like bath bombs is everywhere now. Like even Ginevra has her own line of bath bombs that she got for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I haven't really seen bath beads in a while. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, <laughs> another thing people say, they use this, put this on your front to hold your keys or maybe some spare change in. Uh, yeah, no, but I agree. It, it could leave a scent for a while, so I, I just feel weird about putting food in it. Another thing, guys, is if you want 
to um, squeezing them. I've never tried squeezing them. I'm worried about the pop. But I remember like just just feeling so fancy whenever I just threw in a, a couple of bath beads and just watched them melt away. Ah. And then playing with the slime in the bath up the oil came out. Yeah. Yeah. And the little joys in life, right? I feel like right now we're constantly rushing. And I mean, by all means, I'm I'm so guilty of this. I'm constantly rushing around. I forget about those little joys of just relaxing in a bathtub and just, you know, playing with bath beads. <laughs> ah, interesting. I'm going to have to find bath beads to see if I can get them to squirt. I'm so curious now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, what was I saying about this? There was something else. There was something else I read about this one that was kind of cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing you could do is to kind of prolong the life. Is even if most of the wax is gone, you can even put this on on like a windowsill on a warm sunny day, and some scent will still come out into the room. Um, you can also put it on after after I finish using the stove. I just put it not in the stove but on top. And the, the warmth of the stove, and of course, none of the fires are on, but the warmth of the snow just kind of like amplifies the smell of the candle into the room for a little bit. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the candles to make, to prolong this, this longevity, as well as reusing the containers. I'm sure there's a million other ideas you can use for this, but I really, oh, did you just find the one Amazon? Oh my gosh. I'll have to look them up just to, just so that I can really just, you know why? I love popping pimples. That's why I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so bad. Don't pop your pimples, guys. It's really, really bad. But it'll just be so fun. Just like, mm. It'll be so gratifying. I'll start a series. Oddly satisfying with Jess. <laughs> uh, clearly I got sleep last night and oh my gosh the last couple of lives guys I don't know if you could tell my energy level was a little bit down I was just really tired over the last few days but I, I caught some I am a pimple popper I know I try really hard not to right now but I love watching Dr. Pimple Popper have you guys ever oh my gosh I like I it's just so disgustingly satisfying. I'm like, ooh, ew, oh, I can't stop watching. I'm like a glutton for punishment. Eh, it is what it is. All right, so if you guys have any other ideas, um, oh, 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 another thing you could do with this, if it's clear glass, because you know how some of those could, I, um, Lisa, I think yours is clear, you can create really cool sand art with it. You know, like the colored sand? You can create like sand art with it. That would be really pretty. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. So, 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 let's finish up our empties. <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper. Look her up. She's, it's actually really interesting. Um, and the other thing is, guys, do you remember those sanders that you can kind of tip and it just kind of like floats down? Like, it's like, uh, what, what, those lava lamps, but just sand. And my mom used to buy those for me when I, whenever she went away. She used to have to go away a lot for my grandpa. Um, because he had to get like hyperbaric, hyperbaric chain, like hyperbaric oxygen treatments here in Toronto, but we lived in Athens, which was about four hours or so away. Anyways, she used to buy those for me as just like a little treat, and I just still remember those in my house, and I just used to play them, and just watch the sand go down. So beautiful. It's very, it's very therapeutic. It's one of those things that it's like ASMR for your eyes. It's just like oh. you watch it and you just relax. Yes, but yes, hopefully you can stomach Dr. Dr. Pimple Popper. Some of them are not as gross. Nelson can't stomach it. I am loving it. Yeah, the bath salts would look really lovely in the clear candle. And it has a, and it also has a, a lid. I'm pretty sure the aloe ones do. And so it'll help keep the scent too. Yeah, so guys, if you have any other tips and ideas with uh, what you could do with your um, makeup containers to reuse them, different ideas, make sure you do leave in a chat. would love to hear. My favorite one that I found, definitely bobby pin in lip balm container. I think that one is absolutely brilliant because I do lose mine all the time. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I now want to get one of those candles because I, I want the wooden lid. 
<laughs> I do, I do, I do. All righty, Rose. So now let's finish up the empties for the night. So I've already showed you this, which is I've actually also this is a shampoo. I've done, I've finished the conditioner as well. I just can't find the container anywhere. So this one is I would definitely rebuy this. I love the scent of this. You can still smell it. It smells so beautiful. It's very spring, it's floral, but with a little bit of brightness. And for this one, guys, I don't know if you watched my video on it. I did a review, a first impressions review. With just with the shampoo, I was able to put my fingers through my hair with just the shampoo. It is so good. So this one definitely will rebuy it. Um, I talked about this too. This is the grapefruit guava hand cream. Love, love, love. I've used several tubes of this. I would rebuy this as well. Right now, I'm actually going to demo for you guys tonight is this hand cream line, but in the pink coconut. Isn't this so pretty? <gasps> oh, love it. So that's another one. Another empties here is this. Now this is super old. I don't know who here remembers Planet Spa. Planet Spa is super, super old. I remember Planet Spa from when I first started selling Avon. And uh, we used to have, um, what my favorite one was the Shea Butter one because it smelled like butter popcorn. It's so yummy, yummy, yummy. So this is the uh, perfectly purifying Planet Spa with Dead Sea Minerals body wash. Now, if this was available again, I personally would not buy it again. Um, I, I use all of it because I don't want to waste products. I try very hard to use up everything that I do get. Um, but it's really interesting that you don't realize how much better of a product you're using until you use, like, in, in, like what better ingredients you're using until you use something else that you were using before. I don't know, that's definitely not coming out as articulate as I wanted to, but I've been using, um, let's say for example, the aloe products, or I used the hemp seed oil, the shake, the body shake, I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, I used that one, and at first I didn't think I was gonna like it, and I didn't like it the first time I used it, I was like, meh. But then after, by the time I used half of it, I loved it, love, love, love. My skin felt so good after it. And then I was like, okay, I need to use this because I've had this sitting in my product drawer for years and years and years and years and years. I must use it. Um, and I used it and my skin is so dry with it. It's just it's so dry. And I find that even after um, like moisturizing, it still feels dry. So I actually made Nelson use this because he has oilier skin. And um, yeah, so I personally would not rebuy this. If we had this line again, I would definitely rebuy the Shea Butter one because it was delicious. And also, yes, Pam, the chocolate one so good i miss having chocolate scented products we used to have those for valentine's day they were so much fun so 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 much fun the especially the whipped body scrubs in the shape of an ice cream cone those were amazing oh i forgot something okay let me finish with the 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 empties and then i'll go to the other thing so this is one that i would not repurchase i'm sorry but i don't i'm, sh I'm if you have a specific skin type this would be good for you i have really dry legs so this was not it just didn't work for me. Um, Dr. Balmer Sitka Peptide Ampule. I talk about this all the time. I have now completely finished this. Like, com like absolutely completely finished it. Like, nothing fell out. Yeah. Uh, and, yes, I will rebuy this. I actually have one ready to go because I... I just absolutely love, 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 love this product. It's just as that extra layer of hydration. It's also very beautiful. I have a collection of just the bottles that now I've learned that I can make vases out of and use this, use the droppers for science projects and art projects for my daughter. So there's that. Um, love at first lash mascara. Again, would definitely, definitely rebuy this. Right now, because I actually ended up um, finished using this a while ago, right now I put it away, so I'm not going to show you. Um, I'm using the love at first lash waterproof mascara. I like that one for its lift and I like the shape of its wand because it's more of this the curved one however I can't I don't want to use it every day because using waterproof mascara every single day isn't the best thing for your lashes but uh, I'm just using that for now because I need to finish that one up too so that's that really great mascara love 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 it so I would rebuy that one again and I already have next is this sorry I'm on my squeaky chair so that's why you're here like musical hips like it's a little weird never mind scratch that 
<laughs> Just ignore that I said that. The micellar water or missler water, depending on who you talk to, I say both every now and then, depending on my mood. So this is the micellar water or missler water, the a new hydrofusion cleansing water. So you use this um, and you don't need to rinse it. It just is such a wonderful and convenient product. It, it helps get rid of the, the remainder of the makeup. I do find though that this won't take off the waterproof mascara very well. For that one, I do have to use either the Face Shop um, waterproof makeup remover or I use the oil, uh, the Issa Knox gel to oil to milk cleanser. That one takes it off really, 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 really well. But for everything else, this is fantabulous. It, you just put a little bit on your cotton pad, gets rid of like it helps I don't know it just it helps to clean off the ex the little bit ex whatever stuff you have left on your face so you know how sometimes after you wash your face there's still a little bit of like makeup under your eyes this will get rid of it it is really great smells lovely feels so good I think it's also suitable for sensitive skin yeah suitable for sensitive skin it's alcohol it's also alcohol free and oil free really it's oil free interesting I didn't know that mm, learn something new every day anyways I this is probably like my third bottle of this too and I need to buy another I think I have another one downstairs but I don't remember anyways I finished it I need to get, I will be buying another one of these ones because I really love how convenient this product is and how good my skin feels after using it so that's it yay I can recycle a bunch of packaging today that excites me I also showed you the Dr. Balmier one this one is gone finito and I've already opened up a new one this one I'm rebuying as you know because I always have an extra one on hand this one is a Ginevra item that she has finished up which is the pink Himalayan salt toothpaste now this one's in floral mint we don't have the floral mint anyone anymore so I did get her I think it's called ice mint I don't know if she's gonna like it as much but she really likes the pump she loves a pump. Right now, I'm having her use the um, the honey mint, the, the bee one, and it's in a tube and you squeeze out. Oh my gosh, guys, my sink is disgusting. Every time after she brushes her teeth, it's such a mess. I don't know why, but the pump works for her. She makes less of a mess with the pump. I love the pump, and she, she really, really likes this one. She likes this one so much, she ran out. She didn't tell me ahead of time, so she went and she put some water in this <laughs> thinking that it will still work kind of like hand soap how you get the last remainder bit of the hand soap you add a little bit of water yeah it doesn't work the same with toothpaste um what she really also likes about this toothpaste is the fact that it isn't as thick as your traditional toothpaste so she really likes how it feels in her mouth so i did order the new i think it's called ice mint i don't remember exactly what the name what the flavor is but it is in this uh, Himalayan pink salt line in the pumping formula. So that one, again, I, will, I am rebuying. Uh, as for the empties, oh, I can kind of talk about this like an empty. Sure, why not? A bath poof. This is my very sad bath poof. It is obviously, as you can tell, on its way to retirement. Yes, do you agree? I think we agree. And there's a hair there. I'm sorry, guys. That's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm still shedding not as much as before but I'm still shedding uh so this one here it is my it's one of the Avon bath poofs actually and so I I have like 15 of these just because I use them all the time now something I learned for Earth Day with this that I thought was so cool one of my customers taught it to me today and that's what made me think we need to talk about this today because it is Earth Day we're talking about gardening I, I um whenever I run into a couple of my clients they love we love to chit chat we talk about you know everything kids life family and for this particular client she loves to talk about gardening so I learned a lot of my gardening stuff from her although I do not have a green thumb so obviously I need to talk to her and my mom more often so with this, I was telling her how I got a zucchini plant and she's like, you got to be careful the rabbit's jets because the rabbit's going to eat your zucchini. I'm like, oh, okay, well, what can I do? She's like, you know, those bath poofs that you have? I'm like, yes. She's like, unravel it and wrap it, your zucchini in it and it'll, your rabbits won't eat it. Isn't that brilliant? I thought it was brilliant. I never would have thought, I thought I had to buy chicken wire for my garden, but no, I can use this. So that is an awesome way to reuse this. I think that's brilliant. So Donna, if you ever watch this, thank you for that tip. 
I think it's brilliant. I was so excited. I was couldn't wait to tell you guys. Um, yeah, so she said it works for it works for like zucchini, eggplant, cucumbers, um, and you literally just put it in and it stretches so it has room for growth. Maybe I can even do my winter melons of this, even though I don't grow winter melons, by the way. My my mom does. I can give it to her. But yeah, she said because it's like like this, I can just put her in. So I thought it was really smart. That's so brilliant. Yeah. If you have any other ideas that you can use these for, guys, leave a comment. Um, for some interesting 3D art installation, maybe. Here. Oh, hey! Maybe we can make wedding veils out of this. Eco-friendly wedding veil. Uh, fascinators. Eco-friendly fascinators. Actually, this is kind of cute. No? Now you guys think I'm really crazy. That is actually really cute. I would make this into a dance costume. Oh my gosh. My dancers are like, thank gosh she doesn't make costumes anymore. But that's really cute. Okay, fine. You guys aren't saying anything about it. <laughs> yes, 80s bridesmaids headpieces. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's it for the empties. Most of the things I will be rebuying. Like I said, there's only a couple of things that um, we wouldn't, I wouldn't rebuy. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I thank you for your support. <laughs> you understand my crazy. <laughs> oh my. All right. So now, oh, Pam, did, are you going, did they have a, 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 a sales meeting in Ottawa? And if they do or are, are you going or did you go? Or any other representatives who are on here? Did you go to the sales meeting? Just out of curiosity. All right. So tonight we're talking about my personal haul. Oddly, I did not buy as much as I thought I would have. Already how you didn't go. Okay, well, I'll try to I'll try to catch some footage of whatever they'll let me catch. So I can share with you guys. <laughs> That's why we love each other, Lisa. We're both the crazies. Okay. So I have a few items to show you from my personal haul. Oddly, I didn't buy as much as I thought. I don't know why. I think it's because I, I kind of... Oh, I know why. Because I ordered a bra, it didn't come in. Yeah, I had a bra. I bought one of the new bras, and it didn't come in. I don't know if it ever will come in. But that's okay. I still got some other goodies, so, which includes the lip balm, Pam. So, I have uh, three lip balms. I have a highbrow sculpting gel. I have the Fruits and Passions Pink Coconut. I love you too. Pink coconut hand cream. And I have a piece of jewelry, the Cy Cyan? Cyan Sea Hoop Earrings. These are coming up, I think, next campaign. And then I have here the Aromatherapy Warming Eye Pillow in Lavender. So there are there is another scent, Bergamot and something. Rose, maybe? Uh, but I got the lavender one because I discovered that I love lavender. The other thing I want to show you is that my birthday present from Avon. Yes, Avon sent me a little birthday gift. If you were on my Instagram or my Facebook, you would have seen it in my stories. But it came in this little package here. It says, happy birthday, bon fait. And it's the Kachina hand cream. So this one is in sea salt and Amalfi lemon. I think I have this one as one of the um, hand soaps downstairs, maybe in my powder room. I don't really know, but I remember I, I've smelled this one before and it is really nice. The Kachina does re re have really, really nice hand creams. Um, my favorite hand cream from Kachina is the Grapefruit Rhubarb. That one is so lovely. This one is the, yes, it is the hand butter and it is made with olive oil for the first cold press. Um, it is also a product that's not tested in animals. It's made in Canada. And if you look here, guys, little tip, if you see this symbol here, that means after you open it, this is how long the product is good for. So for this particular case, 12 months, I'm sure I'll be done with it way before that. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yes, so it prevents your, your hands from drying out and chapping, which is really nice. I'm actually, I had a bit of an allergic reaction to a hand sanitizer today. And I have like this, you know, do you guys ever get like these like little weird blister bubble hives? I get those for certain things. And I used a new hand sanitizer because I couldn't find my other one. And oh my gosh, it's super itchy. Anywho, what should we try first? Let's open up 
earrings first. Let's do jewelry. So happy birthday to me. I bought more Avon. <laughs> Ooh, they're bigger than I thought they would be. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. And I even came prepared with a pair of scissors. They are bigger than I thought they would be. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, these are gorgeous. So it's gold tone with these stunning blue beads, blue turquoise beads. Let me stick them on to show you. I'm wearing my other new ones I got last time. And right now, guys, I am on a quest to buy clay earrings. I don't know if you guys seen them. They're all over Instagram. And I am obsessed. You guys know how much I love earrings. So Avon doesn't have clay earrings. But I love... You got the rainbow hoops today? Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah, I ordered... I might have gotten the rainbow hoops too. What did I order? No, I ordered a bead one. I have to show you. Uh, when, when I get them up, I'll show you. All right. Oh, da, da. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, they're so pretty. They're a little bit heavier um then these ones but the color is nice super nice the bees look this starry nice guy oh that's such a beautiful vision yes it does oh if, if i ever go to a van gogh exhibition is it van gogh come on come on there we go there we go oh they're cute 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 Ooh, i like they're kind of fun when they hit your face, too. These are really cute, guys. So these are called the Cyan Sea Hoop Earrings. There's a whole collection. We have always have new jewelry. These are pretty. Are you loving these? Do you want me to order a pair for you, Lisa? Let me, let me know. You can send me a PM if you want. These are beautiful. All right, should I keep them on for the rest of the night? I think so. All right, so I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of the night. All right, so that is that. That is one item that I got. Now the other item that I can't do a true, true, true personal uh, like vi video on right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on it. Is this here? Now this is the spray on dish soap in red apple. So uh, my girlfriend Anne, she is also a beauty boss. She um, she ordered the other one. I think it's the lemon one. And she said it wasn't very strong. So what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to like, you're, you can use it on greasy pans, tumblers. I can use it on my air fryer. Oh, dishes and utensils. Nice. That is so interesting. So it's supposed to tackle your food strains, strains, tackle food stains and grease with just a spray, which is pretty cool. So you spray it and, uh, uh, and it spray the activated foam onto dirty dishes. Um, and it's supposed to instantly cut grease on contact. So I'm guessing it's like a degreaser of some sort. And then you wipe and rinse away stuck and baked on grease. Interesting. Okay, because I hate washing pots and pans. So I can't spray this right now. I don't have any dirty dishes in here, except for the cup that I'm currently drinking. But we can do at least do a sniff test. Oh, it's much lighter than I thought, actually. I wonder when, it's, when it hits water and activates, if it becomes a stronger scent. But the... The bottle's really pretty, <laughs> right? So this is formulated with plant-derived ingredients, which is actually really great. For, do they recommend for baby bottle cleaning? That's a great question. Let me give me a second. Let me read it. Air fryers. Re they recommend it for reusable water bottles, stand and hand mixers. So it's dermatology tested. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Look at that, guys. Safe for baby bottles. That is cool too bad Nathaniel doesn't drink out of bottles anymore but i do have sippy cups huh nice that's really good to know um there is a note that says do not leave it on for more than 20 minutes very cool this product is made in korea it was from kachina which is interesting but it isn't made in korea okay okay huh okay but with uh soil dishes you want to first soak it in some warm water and you want to allow the suds to sit for 10 to 20 minutes and then wipe off, uh, rinse, uh, wipe and then rinse. But yeah, don't keep it on for more than 20 minutes. That's really interesting. But that, especially the fact that it's safe for baby bottles. I think that's really, really great because it's going to be so much more convenient, right? And it's a whole other demographic that could, that this could be useful for. So this will be in a video 
that I'll probably film over the weekend because I do have some pots and pans downstairs I need to wash probably tonight. We will see, but I have a bunch of things to do in order to get ready for tomorrow. Um, okay, next off is this Aromatherapy Warming Eye Pillow. Let's open this one next. I'm, ex I'm intrigued about this. So... Kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. Having some difficulties finding the opening. Wow. <laughs> I can't find the I can't find the opening, guys. I might have to just tear it. Be barbaric about it. There we go. Rawr. Okay. So this According to the thing, it says store it in a clean and dry environment. It is pretty. <clears throat> Not that face, mind you. It is really pretty. All right. Ready? Ta da! Is that pretty? My nose. One second. So, uh, remove microwavable insert from the cover. Okay, so when you microwave it, you're supposed to take off the thing. Fold it can position. Fold the insert if it cannot be planned. So on the turn table, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you heat it up for maximum one minute and then um, you can just put it on. So let's see. Refresh your fragrance as only if you fire to just apply to the insert. Okay. I don't smell a lot actually right now, but maybe once it's heat up, it makes a difference. It's very, 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 very light. But all we do is you do that. And I'm just going to tuck in the tag so I don't want the tags on my eyes. And you do this. I can see how this can be relaxing. And you know what? Even the weight of it just feels kind of good. Oh. All right. Good night, guys. Okay. So I'm going to have to test this out some other time. Um, but if, if the material feels really nice. There is a lot of lot of details in here that you're going to want to read through if you do end up getting it. Um, and they also have an idea of how long to put it in the microwave for depending on the strength of your microwave. So do if you are getting one of these, you want to make sure you do read through everything. And let's see. Yeah, so you can apply like essential oils directly to the insert. Um if you if you want to refresh the fragrance and so i guess that if you have more lavender essential oil you can do that so i will be testing this out some other time but this is one of those things it's really really pretty though and it feels really nice on the fingers it's like one of those therapeutic ball thingies so that's that now next let's do the hand cream because my hands are actually really dry so this is the aloe fruits and passions pink coconut this entire line is so gorgeous it's so pretty like the bottles look like they belong in a spa it just looks so nice so this one is uh it's not tested on animals it is made in canada it is good for up to a year after you open it and it's 50 ml completely sealed. Let's open this beauty up and give it a whiff. I wonder if my nose is being weird. I don't smell a lot today. It could be just, it, like I say, guys, I have a weird nose. I have, uh, for those who don't know, I lost my sense of smell a few, like, well, a long time ago. And it came back, but I'm learning my sense. But I know that my nose is, is, isn't as sensitive as Nelson's. And it kind of comes and goes. It's kind of weird. Okay. Anyways, this is it. It actually, it absorbs quite quickly. Mm. Oh, it's very, I found it very, very, very light. I might have to do a secondary sniff test on this tomorrow. Because I can't smell much right now. It, but it does feel very light and it does absorb it really, really, really fast. And it's one, the second ingredient in this, guys, is coconut oil. That's really awesome. Yeah. All right. But yeah, my skin feels really, really nice after putting it on. It's hydrating, moisturizing, very lightweight, great for summer. Really, really great for summer. Because I mean, I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, I like to have things that are very light. I don't like anything too heavy, not on my face, not on my hands. I think 
I just like light. It's very, very light. Like, I barely smell anything right now. Which is interesting, because I remember when I smelled the, the sniffer, um, the little scented page, it was a lot stronger. It could be my nose right now, so I'll have to do an update on this probably tomorrow or in a day or so, but I don't smell much right now, which is weird. Yes. Okay, next off, let's do the lip balms, because um, which one was it that you wanted me to test? Pam, was it the, 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 the lemon one to see if there was color? So this one is tinted. This was the hemp seed oil ultra nourishing one. And this one is in red. I'm not going to demo this one because I have two other ones I'm going to demo. And this one does specifically say that it is uh, tinted. So we know that it's tinted. So these two here, this is the pomegranate lip balm. And then this is the lemon lip balm. So I will open both of these up for us to enjoy. Now before all you, before I used to try to pick at it, but I learned that hopefully doing this live so much pressure you should be able to just twist it if i didn't just put on a hand cream i should have done this the other way around but you should be able just to twist it and there we go and the whole lid will pop off Ta -da! so this is pomegranate oh yeah i can smell this one mmm smells bright smells sweet lovely let's see if this one is tinted at all i don't see any color coming off of this one yeah, so I don't, like, it's like the faintest thing in the world right now. It's super light. So I'm going to put this on this side like that. Oh, it feels really nice. Mmm, silky. So do you see any color difference? Oh, it's sweet! Mmm, it tastes good! I wonder if this is breaking my fast. Mm. Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is a good and bad thing at the same time. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh no. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. <gasps> I can't get over it. Okay, let's get to the lemon one. So this is <laughs> this is the lemon one. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I gotta stop. This is the lemon one. Focus, just focus. Okay. Ah, I stuck it on my nose. It's not as lemony scented as I thought it would be, but again, it could be my nose being weird tonight. I smell hints of lemon. And let's do a swatch first. It just has like a bit of a shimmer. Very, I can't even see it in the camera. It has like a little bit of a shimmer, but not really color. And I'll do that on the other side. Okay, pomegranate, lemon. Mmm. I guess you can see a little bit of color. It feels pretty good. It does feel pretty good on the lip. It's buttery. So they're both equally buttery. It's really funny because like this part right here, I didn't put anything on. It almost feels a little minty. I don't know why. Oh, there's a lemony taste. But honestly, I like the I like the flavoring, taste wise, of the pomegranate more. Mmm. Hey, if I mix the lemon, the lemon and the pomegranate together, I have myself a fruit cocktail. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yeah, for some reason, it feels almost. It doesn't feel. It doesn't, it smells a little bit minty, but there's no tingling at all. There's no lip plumping feeling at all. Like it feels very soothing, actually, guys. It feels really good on the lips, very, very buttery, which is really nice. But it's just, it's not a lip plumper. 
I smell a little bit of mint, but it doesn't feel like I don't feel the tingling. It's the weirdest thing. It feels a little cool. I am so confused right now. My brain doesn't know what to think of it. I like the flavor of the pomegranate a little bit more though, just to be completely honest. Lips do need to be buttered up. I agree. Nelson agrees too. Yes. So these two, they're fun. Really fun. I really like the pomegranate. I'm like, it's a little bit addictive. Mm, it's so good. It's really yummy. It's very childlike for me because it's like, it's like the strawberry one when I was a kid. Maybe that's why I love it so much. Ah, these are fun, fun, fun. There's a little bit like, I mean, the red has a little bit of like just slightest tint. The, the, the lemon doesn't seem to have any color at all. Just a little bit of like satininess from the, the moisturizing agents in it. Does that answer your question, Pam? I don't know if that was helpful at all. Yes. But anyways, <laughs> these are fun. I really like these. These are going to go in my pocket. I might even give this one to Ginevra. <laughs> so cute. All right, my lovelies. Final thing for tonight is this. This is the Bias de Resistance. I'm excited about this. This is a high brow sculpting brow gel. Now, I don't know what to do with my brows. Honestly, I don't. The only thing I ever do with my brows besides just cleaning up this area here is I take a brush and I do this. That's it. I just brush them. That's all I ever do. I, I don't fill them. I've been told I should fill them a little bit. I've also been told that my my eyebrows are just too long and I should really cut them. But I have a big fear of that because I feel like I'm going to slip but I'm just going to like completely cut one piece off. I did that as a kid one time for fun because I was trying to trim my eyebrows like my mama. <laughs> and I ended up like having a little bald patch for a while. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't know what to do with my brows. And every time that I get my, my, my makeup done at Studio 1886, they always fill my brows. They do a great job of it. it it's a little bit darker than what I'm us usually used to but when i look back at the footage i'm like oh yeah it looks quite nice but at that moment in time i'm like hmm interesting so anyways what i want to try to do i'm gonna take off my glasses and i'm also really sweaty so okay this product oh why did i have about stuff so early because then i'll be squinting i'll be able to see i'll create more more wrinkles so this product you can either use with or without uh another brow prod product like a brow pencil or a brow gel or a pomade or whatever you like to use i'm gonna use it on my naked brows it's supposed to be a non-flaking formula um and it helps to tame, groom, and fluff for wow-worthy brows, is what it says. It has a tapered micro brush to ensure precise application. And like I said, you can wear it alone or over your favorite brow product. It is free from fragrance, phthalates, and paraben, which is all great. Um, to use it, follow the natural arch. Apply the brow using short, tiny strokes. All right, so let's try it. So I like the fact that it is clear, which is great. And look at how cute, like how ridiculously cute is this bottle. It is just super duper cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. So it has like a little teeny tiny brush. And here we go. Let's just get right into it. We're going to take it. Yeah, I don't smell anything. Just take it and we're supposed to. I want to use my compact. Um, so I'm not like in your face like this. And you're supposed to just do like teeny tiny brush strokes like so. And I don't know how often I'm supposed to add more product to it. I mean, oh, I'm not that blind yet. There we go. Let's try that. So I really want to try that soapy brow look. It actually doesn't feel very wet. I was expecting it to feel a little bit more wet. Interesting. It's a it's an interesting feeling. I don't know. Anybody here ever have experience doing brow gels? I don't know what I'm doing, by the way, guys. Just say, so, oh, 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 oh. It's just because I really wanted to try that slightly like, I'm so shocked, eyebrow look, because it looks really pretty. Am I doing this right? Please someone tell me something. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, you see, I do have really long brows. Hmm, it's supposed to dry? Is it working? I don't know. 
Oh, yeah, it's standing up now. I wonder if your brows feel soft or stiff. You know how, like, sometimes you can have, um, use hair gel. Not on your eyebrows. I've never used a hair gel on my eyebrows. But use hair gel and it's, like, super crunchy. Interesting. Is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> this is literally my job, guys, to play with my eyebrows like this. <laughs> this is how I make a living. And this is amazing. I get to play with makeup. I am so fortunate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, it does look a little angry. <laughs> I agree. Especially when it's so up close and personal. <laughs> Yeah, but this is apparently is a look. It's just like, I don't know. It does look kind of angry. I think you're right. Okay, it's starting to come together more like what I see, what I see on Instagram. This is my quest to get Instagram worthy eyebrows. You know how you can hair train? Hopefully this doesn't train my eyebrows to like just stay like this. That would be funny because I'm only doing one side. Okay, I want to try to let this dry a bit and let's see what happens. I really want this to stand up because I want it to look as like, not ridiculous, but I want it to look as different than in my normal self as possible. Okay, how's that? What do y'all think? I think it's interesting. I gotta see you with glasses. Well, once I have my glasses, I can barely tell. Right, I just want it to dry so I can feel if it's cr if it goes crunchy or not. It's not that. <laughs> you guys are so kind. I think it looks weird on me. I mean, there's people who are absolutely when they. I need to evaluate them. Okay, well let's see. Let's see how crunchy it gets first. Let's just do one side first, so I can like feel the difference on um compare the difference between the two eyebrows okay 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 so this is my normal side normal just like this like liner on my eyebrows or or like eyeliner yeah i didn't do much for eye makeup today that's a lot of work for a look. Yeah. But you gotta try everything. Well, well, try almost anything once. By the way, guys, I wanna do a series. 40 things to try while what 40 things to try once I turn 40. I wanna start a series. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'll do an official post. But if you have any ideas, let me know. Okay. It doesn't stay up as much as I thought it would. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> It feels kind of tacky. Maybe it's not fully dry or I put too much on. Oh, okay, here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It just looks like... <laughs> it looks like what? <laughs> it, it looks like what my eyebrows look like right after I wake up in the morning if I slept on my face. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of this look. I don't think it's a good look for me. Okay, okay, feeling less tacky now. I think I have to brush it out afterwards. I think that's what it is. I look slightly shocked. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Do you do something for 40 days? Save earrings. That will kill me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Pam. That that would that would I don't know if I could do it. Same earrings for 40 or even like same lipstick for 40 days. As trivial as that sound, guys. Yeah, I don't think I could do it. For, oh or yeah. Oh. Okay. But I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try most things once. 
Okay, I figured out how to get it to work. You kind of have to let it dry a little bit first and then start the brushing with, with like a spoolie. But I think that it's it's very not Jess. But, I find, hey, but at least now I know. And now I know that I have a weird dip in my eyebrow there. Come on. There. What do y'all think? I could throw out an eyeliner. Da, da, da. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have a lot of makeup. Here. Two thousand cost forty dollars. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Here, let's try with a liner. So this is the new Glimmer Stick uh, liquid liner. If you like a liquid liner that's not overly wet, this is great. But if you like your liquid liner to be really wet, this is not as great. But this feels more like, it has more like a pencil-y feel to it, I find. And some people love that. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Oops. I'm also really rushing this right now. Okay, there. How's that? I should put the lid back on. Fluffy brow? Non-fluffy brow. Ah? Can you see a difference? Or maybe my brows are just too long and they just won't stay up. I might play with this a little bit more and Nelson will give me a funny look. He was like, babe, what did you do to your eyebrows? Okay. Do you like it better now with a liner? It's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it balances more. I agree. It balances more. Is it a look for, for every day? Who knows? We could try it. We'll try it again. I'll play around with it again, maybe like next week or something. But now I know. And now that it's dried more and I kind of brushed it out, it doesn't feel tacky anymore. It feels almost the same as my other brow, but probably because I also brushed it out like crazy. Yeah, I think it would need to be... I've still, the thing is, I've seen it done with a really natural look and it looks really, really nice. I just don't know if it suits me and that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. But hey, now I know. Now I have something I played with. So out of everything I got, I think I'm the most, most excited. I literally was earrings and this pomegranate lip balm. It's so good. I am totally breaking my fast right now. And that's okay. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I can't get over good at this. All right, guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I had tons and tons of fun chatting. This is like, it was so much fun tonight, guys. Um, so next week, we'll have yet another unboxing video. Uh, thanks to everyone who joined in on Monday for the unboxing because last Friday was Good Friday. I actually didn't even get my order in until Monday. If you missed that live stream, I have the replay available and um, I will be posting up a video on this super duper soon, hopefully. And tomorrow I will be going to the, uh, the, the Toronto sales meeting to check it all out. Now film as much as possible. If I can go live, I'll go live as close to 1.30 uh, Toronto time as I can to just kind of pan and show you guys what's going on. Um, I probably won't be able to kind of give you too much notice just because I have to ask first once I get there to see what is permitted and what's not permitted. If if it's not permitted, then I'll just leave a little thing. But yeah, lots of videos to look forward to, lots of videos for me to put together. So I'm excited. Um, Learned a lot from you guys. Lots of fun. Try the, try this if you're gardening for your zucchinis. I think that I, I honestly, I was so excited what she told me because I never thought about how I could reuse this because I always felt bad about throwing these in the garbage after after washing my body with it for a while. Clean it off, obviously, and then just use it to to prevent you know animals from eating your 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 vegetables, or use it as decoration for your hair. There we go. All right, guys, I love you so very, very much. Thank you, as always, for joining me tonight. It was 
always a pleasure always super fun to hang out and chit chat um if you haven't yet make sure you do check out my lip plumper video that i did post up on tuesday that is available for replay now and until next time guys i love you very much and have a wonderful weekend good night bye